You know, I always love that topic that people love to always avoid it until it's being brought up. Being black in the suburbs. And while this may not be a hot topic to many people out there, but for some odd reason, some people have a hard time understanding that black people can actually move and live in the suburbs. Huh? Shocker? You're telling me that all black people are not thugs, hooligans, and scammers? trying to finesse the next person next to them? I mean, since when has achievement ever been a problem? Or whatever happened to being yourself? But for some reason, this topic will trigger a lot of people ready to call you all the names that probably have lost their meaning already in 2023. And you're probably gonna get caught up with the most offended person ever, saying how you should be this way and dress like this. And as someone who has lived in the suburbs for some time of his life, I can tell you one thing, the stereotypes are insane. I mean, it'll have you scratching your head like you're trying to write a 500 word essay. I mean, you can literally be minding your own business, trying to get a good education, trying to get a high school diploma. And they say, you know what, little Tommy has to come up to you in your ear and say, oh, you're trying to be different now. It kind of makes you wonder who is coming up with these rules. We all have a pet peeve when it comes down to this on how people judge you just basically on the color of your skin and expect you, you as a person to assimilate with a specific demographic of people. To them, if you don't act a certain way, you're not what you are and you're pretty much the odd one out. And they hit you with the most diabolical, stereotypical things that anyone can say. You're not black, you talk white. Bro really trying to move on up and you're just stuck here realizing this generation is cooked. Like how do you talk white? If that's the case, if the roles were reversed, they will be calling the Avengers right now. I'm talking about this is an Avengers level threat. You gotta call Snitch McGee and cancel culture. Every day I see how further society is just just disappearing and how Thanos was right in snapping out to a different dimension. You know we're done for when the standards are pushed to the extremes. To your average day female wanting your man to be a drug dealer, a daily thugnificent, running around the block doing side quests, trying to get their reputation up like it's GTA San Andreas or the I need a daily scammer and con artist, trying to add a skimmer to your local ATM machine. And it's funny how we all hate stereotypes but love to enforce it in specific communities. It's like you could never win. And don't get me started with the suburban school life when it comes down to this. As much as they love to make it cute and cuddly about how the life is in the suburban school, you can't go a day without seeing someone from the suburbs sagging their pants, blasting their $30 speaker with the most recent trendy drill music that popped off. And for some reason, they'll act like they're repping a certain gang or something so they can move around and talk in code so they don't get caught up with their ops. I'm trying to figure out who these ops are. The teachers, the deans, they really be out here fighting Demons and trying to be post up in the school hallways really be thinking they are him. These are the same ones that get into fights all day in school. Even the Caucasian kids be putting a bad rep on themselves, knowing that they aren't about that life. Throwing up random gang signs like they've been sanctioned or something. And now all of a sudden they feel like they have the N-word pass. Or going to the school bathroom to vape, smoke cancer sticks, or even just sit there and complain and whine on how their life is terrible and upside down. And it seems like the ones that do trouble never get in trouble. But trust me, I believe in karma and one day sagging their pants is definitely gonna get caught up to them. But notice how these wannabe thugs will take their personal issues out in a suburban public school. But when they go to the north side, next thing you know, they switch up like they're SpongeBob working at Weenie Hut Juniors, walking around like they pulling straight A's. I mean, you can't make this up. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. It's Joss, signing off.